I said good morning. We really welcome you back to KM Hospital. Thank it's you. always a pleasure to meet our deans who have made this institute so big. Uh, so we would want you to tell about your experiences, about your life, about you being in medicine or being in this institute or some other institute and your contributions. We would be very happy to hear you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. The very basic details, birth, 4th September, 1950, city of birth, Pune. I was uh, initially, schooling started with St. Joseph High School, Sulapur. I matriculated from St. Xavier's High School, Kolapur. Okay. This is all because my father was a central government employee, transferred. I did my inter science from Sangmeshwar College, Solapur, with distinction, and I got admission at NHL Municipal Medical College, Ahmedabad. I completed my graduation in October 1973, and uh, at that point in time, my father, mother wanted me back in Pune. But uh, once you do a graduation at one place. Your attachment, your right remains for the postgraduate purpose at that very institution. I continued with uh, post graduation in medicine. At that point in time, it was not uh, very easy to get a seat in medicine. And uh, March, I looked into, but I would lucky that after initial stint of three months in gynecology, I could accommodate myself for MD medicine. I enrolled for the course in 1975 and I could uh, complete, at that time, that was the era of attempts at post-graduation. I was uh, lucky and fortunate that I could clear my MD, General Medicine and Therapeutics at uh, first attempt. Uh -huh. What to do immediately after post-graduation is a question that can arise in the minds of so many into inverted commas consultants and it demanded a lot of investment and by that time father had retired so i was interviewed for the gujarat state service and his dream also being a government employee was my son should start as a class one gazetted officer which again i was fortunate to be appointed as tutor against the post of assistant professor of medicine at MP Shah Medical College and Irvin Group of Hospitals at Jamnagar. I worked there for a period of almost three years. I looked after medicine. I was in charge of the infectious disease ward. I was a part of research work at Rana Wau Cement Plant, Cement Workers. That was the research project undertaken. And I assisted uh, the then professors Yagnik in diabetes clinic. Again, after two and a half to three years, there were a couple of publications then as assistant professor. And I approached the then director of medical education, government of Maharashtra, who said that he will have to apply for the wait for the public service commission post. And when the eventually MPSC post was advertised, I applied for the post of reader in medicine. And uh, again, I was fortunate that with some publications and already holding the post of assistant professor, I joined as a reader under Mumbai Municipal Corporation in, on 8th of February 1982. For six years, I was reader in medicine at the Lokmanya Tilak Municipal Medical College and General Hospital. So I realized that within 26 years of service at Municipal Corporation, it was a commencement at the Sion Hospital and superannuation was from the KM Hospital. Okay. Within the six years at Sion Hospital, some one or two important developments 
I learned more interacting. I was the secretary of the staff research society of Sion Hospital. And at the end of six years, I believed and hoped that I am fully competent to enter the campus of KM Hospital. In June, I joined the KM Hospital at that time in the unit of Dr. P. D. Anjaria. Dr. P. D. Anjaria was extremely helpful. He was on the verge of superannuation. And I looked after his Saturday unit for a period of almost four months. On 1st November 1988, I was promoted as Professor of Medicine at the prestigious St. J.S. Medical College and KM Hospital. And to start with, Saturday unit was my outdoor. I found the atmosphere in KM Hospital then extremely academic and I could sense easily that only the toppers enter for their first MBBS course in medicine at St. J.S. Medical College. And it was a wonderful evening. My head then was Dr. G.H. Tilwe and at that time the dean was Dr. G.V. Parulkar followed by Madam Pai. And all through I realized that the patient load was enormous at the outdoor Indoor, I shared the ward with Dr. Talvi, ward number 9 was our ward and ward 4 was the female ward. And uh, being busy in the clinical life of KM Hospital, references, cross-references and again going for the patients in ICU. At that time, tetanus was there as far as ICU patients was concerned, it is now almost eradicated type. But we have seen and managed tetanus patients. Tropical conditions were very common and it is in this period of nine years as a professor I could develop an all India image as a professor in medicine. I became the president then of uh, the Indian Society of Hypertension. I became the president of Indian Society of Atherosclerosis Research and also the Geriatric Society of India. So all my professional activities could find acceptance on an all India basis and by the virtue of being a professor of internal medicine at AEM, invitations were plentiful and I took a chance to attend to a good number of them in the process developing self, developing the name of the department and obviously the institution. I was also on the Indian Council of Medical Research meetings and one task force during this very period. So I realized at that point in time that GS Medical College and KM Hospital because in the process I go for inspection, I realized how big we were, how great we were and that was indeed a matter of pride at that point in time. One of the important events that took place that shook the nation at that time was the 1992 and 93. Uh, I recollect on that day I received a uh, the department received a message from the Dean Dr. Pai that bomb blasts have taken place and at 2.20 p.m. we could uh, get in and on our instructions all of us from the first floor medicine and surgery department we proceeded downwards and from 2.30 onwards till night almost 8.45 we were on our feet. It was to start with a chaotic situation. Bodies were being brought in, some with limbs, some with torso and sometimes seriously injured. The initial quick decision that we took that whether there are signs of life, let them be brought to the casualty itself. Otherwise, we kept them aside outside because there was no point in taking added efforts and we ensured that the trial becomes easy. Uh, washing was also badly required and thereafter with the surgical colleagues in our tower ward places was, place was made for the patients inside and outside so that accommodate they could be done and last of course the urgent ones could be taken for surgical. From that point in time I realized how public cooperation is extremely important. Like appeal was made for blood and there were people 
thronging in to donate their blood and blood bank to some extent they could cooperate but uh, what we did was to take down their numbers so that as and when the need arises they could be contacted but for the first time i realized how important public response is there in the occasion of such calamities reaching home on that night was also a problem and i used to stay at worli and uh, it was not very easy but the situation fairly calmed down in the sense that further victims were not brought in and therefore we decided we know the figure we could stabilize the care and some of our faculty members staying in the campus and around could uh, manage the situation one of them was dr karna uh, and he assured that we could leave so this tragedy brought out some important lessons how residents how faculty and how the administrators could cope up how they should mobilize human resources and how they should mobilize the facilities required in such situations another incident is academic and at that time the head of department was dr kulkarni and the load in our invasive cardiology was rising and therefore at one day the team said we need to start a hypertension clinic once again i was fortunate enough by the virtue of my past contribution to be selected or offered to run the hypertension clinic which took almost a turn in my life thereafter hypertension became a special issue of my clinical interest and hypertension clinic started then in 1991 92 i find it is completing 25 years and that occasion is uh, bound to be celebrated in an appropriate manner all landmarks in commencement of activities in commencement of laboratories in commencement of projects at the institution st jesus medical college in case hospital need to be commemorated they remind us what did the initiators do they remind us how work was carried on and how did it fruitfully finally result in translation of clinical care that the time was now arrived to become the head of department and fortunately again the post fell vacant i know of times when people once in km uh, refused to go anywhere out and that was the tradition what i had heard about but uh, i realized changing experience is also important all that i have learned at km could also be put to service of patients in other municipal hospitals and so on 1st february 98 i joined the sain hospital the lokmanya tilak hospital as professor and head of department i could initiate some important schemes over there basically of course the first was expansion of medicine seminar hall at the sain hospital second we could uh, do that ensure that activities such as the geriatric clinic was uh, further consolidated and last in the area of hiv integrated hiv clinic i realized at that point in time people used to come on multiple days and they had to come for multiple visits to different specialists for the purpose of hiv treatment and i could mobilize monday as the common day we are the pediatrician chest specialist walk in center microbiology medicine all could be available on one afternoon that is monday and this integrated clinic maybe was something of a little landmark in the treatment of hiv care one uh, important in two important incidents i would talk about one was the meeti river floods that was in 2005 and the sain hospital had to gear itself and at that point in time many of the victims were there all throughout the city and sain hospital was assigned a duty of eastern suburbs western suburbs was looked after by the nair hospital and the city was looked after by the kem hospital at the time there was an epidemic almost of severe malaria severe gastroenteritis severe leptospirosis for a long period the meeti river floods and the consequences related to health were taught us many things in terms of clinical management overcrowded wards and falling capacity of ic in view of the number of serious patients the second incident which we faced 
was of the multiple train bomb blasts. All those who were there at the Matunga station, they were brought to Sion Hospital. To start with, it was a mix. Number of patients brought dead was X and almost an equal number, but rising progressively was people brought with polytrauma. Polytrauma is something which demands lot many specialties at one go. And the work should happen within a small period of time if you want results. On that evening, it was a Guru Purnima and I was about to leave for the Guru Purnima function in the LTMG Boy Hostel. And I had asked my spouse, today evening we have to go to the hostel for a function of Guru Purnima. She was almost uh, ready, almost prepared. Within that time I got this news. At that time in the office of the dean there was no television. So news was obtained and immediately I contacted my wife. Please confirm on TV about the news. And within uh, two minutes she did confirm that. And I told our today's program is cancelled. I will be here practically maybe if required throughout the night. And patients started uh, coming in and we could manage very skillfully. The only three people I immediately contacted was number one, head of department of surgery. Number two, I contacted head of department of blood bank. And number three was anesthesia. And then I put a message that you three, you respectively pass on the message to the other departments. And we could uh, offer a lot of care. One novel thing we did was Earlier in our experience, we noticed that many bodies are brought and the relatives are to search through the bodies. This time we took computerized photographs of the dead bodies and we assigned a number. So when the relatives came, we just showed them the photographs and based on that, they saw the number 12, 15. So they did not have to visit many places and unwrap the cover on the top to see the ghastly sight. So this a sort of innovation within a tragedy was appreciated and that it could be replicated if tragedies were to repeat themselves. We could of course offer a program and as we are all aware, saving life in the beginning is a crucial job. It is a multitasking, multi-speciality job. But the process of rehabilitation goes on for a period of almost three months. At that time for the first time, uh, in the history of Sion Hospital, the Prime Minister had landed in Sion Hospital. Honorable Manmohan Singh, along with some cabinet colleagues, were there. They appreciated the work of Sion Hospital. And I thanked him profusely for giving solace to my patients. And he had some words of appreciation. In the midst of national tragedy, the hospital and its staff has done wonderfully well. And thereafter came the DMP. Disaster Management Program. So this was earlier uh, confined to so many things. But when I joined Sion Hospital in 2001, the famous World Trade Center incident took place. At that time there were some samples supposedly of anthrax powder which were sent to the hospital. We sent it for analysis to the Hafkin Institution. But for the first time we expanded our DMP. At that time, the then additional commissioner said and identified Sion Hospital as a nodal center for such situations and in which now we called it NBC, Nuclear, Biological and Chemical Warfare is now an integral part of DMP, Disaster Management Program, which was earlier confined only to fire, building collapse, riots, man-made riots and earthquakes. So this was the expanded program at which all hospitals in Mumbai, corporation, government and private setup were invited to participate in that. So the World Trade Center in 2001, thereafter 2005 the Miti River and 2006 multiple bomb blasts. In between, by the virtue of the fact that Sion Hospital is the entrance of Mumbai city, Many other tragedies including building collapse, uh, ammonia gas poisoning, chlorine gas poisoning. These were attended but I realized one thing that the leadership in management has to come from the top and it has to be from the front.
many of our resident doctors, faculty members, we all realize that coordination is extremely important. And in this time of 2006, my valuable experience at KM Hospital in 1993 Bombas came to my rescue. I realized the old experience and how it could be put into practice and improvised upon. Now the last program in Siam Hospital has, was the most important thing and that was the Diamond Jubilee of the Institute. Again I was fortunate to be the Dean and therefore presiding for the celebrations of the uh, Institute 60 years. And at that point in time, His Excellency the Governor of Maharashtra had made a specific remark that before I have come to Sion Hospital, but that was at the period of tragedy. Now I am coming here to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of this hospital. So these words were very encouraging to the entire staff. And at this point, I felt very much fulfilled in terms of my post of Dean at the Sion Hospital. The tenure at Sion Hospital was from August 2001 to July 2007. And then, at that, the superannuation of the erstwhile dean of the Sivsagar, the dates were approaching and as per the corporation, the Sinemos dean would always love and like to join the KM Hospital. So it was on 4 July afternoon that I, on receiving the orders, I came to the said GS Medical College and KM Hospital for my second tenure but the post was a higher post with enormous responsibilities but again I was fortunate by the virtue of occupying the seat of Dean at the Sion Hospital for a period of almost six years I felt more confident and the most important thing about KM Hospital when I just went for the rounds many of the nursing staff, many of the nursing in charge many of our faculty members they all said, why are you taking it out? We know you, we know you. So the familiarity with which St. J.S. Medical College and KM Hospital staff accepted me as the dean was indeed very pleasing from day one onwards. And it was again a challenging job. I could still realize on the day one when I joined, the entire office of the dean was full of bouquets and garlands. And uh, I really felt happy at the grand welcome which KM Hospital gave me, of course fully realizing that the responsibilities were also enormous. And uh, two, three important things at that time, our projects were going on, multi-story building, uh, 25 stories, the hostel, these are all to be initiated. At that time, Mr. Joshi was there and some initial grounding work in terms of breaking a coconut required for such occasions were there. At the back of my seat, the proposed plan was there to remind me every day to monitor the progress of all that we have undertaken. So these were the building blocks and in all history of large institutions, it may be initiated in the tenure of uh, one uh, dean. It could, get, it could see through the tenure of another one or two deans and finally it would culminate into completion and commissioning during the tenure of uh, some other dean. But we are lucky enough to be invited again on every occasion wherever important landmarks in the history of KM Hospital were undertaken. Now KM Hospital is a huge building. Staff at that time, I was told, was anywhere around 4,200. The erstwhile staff at Sion Hospital was 2,900. I knew the capacity, again 1,400 at the erstwhile Sion Hospital and in KM it was 1,760. For the first time during my tenure, I realized on one day our occupancy was more than 1800 and these are all big challenges in different areas. Now few things in KM Hospital over and above the architect and the proposed plan were again meeting people and we all know that in the post of Dean there are so many other duties which are to be performed, ensuring and maintaining peace, dealing with unions, dealing with day to day problems at any level. Today it is nursing staff, tomorrow it is in charge staff, third day it is laboratory technician, fourth day somebody delaying the forensic medicine post-mortem. So these are all multiple duties and multitasking is extremely important. One has to be tactful and you are dealing with people of diverse 
capacities and capabilities. You have to change the liver too often, you have to change the gear too often. And I realized so many meetings were there. But the first thing that I did was, all the societies then prevalent in KM hospital. I told the respective secretaries, by 31st July, let us have the first meeting. There should not be any society in KM hospital of which the dean is ex officio chairman or president and a meeting has not taken place within the first couple of months because at a later date you realize something is amiss. So this was the thing I made and sometimes we have to take two, three meetings on the same day, one in our uh, room, alumni room, one in this very place and one over there so that the business, the transaction, the decisions get completed within a time-bound manner. At that time, there was association of guidance of so many seniors, Dr. Manukotari, Dr. R.D. Papat, uh, with the Silver Jubilee Foundation, and so many other trusts of which they were the members. I could uh, get to know the facts, historical facts, because many times we notice that when we read the files, when we read the record, it may not convey the complete happening and therefore verbal inputs from our senior colleagues always are useful in making important decisions and decisions taken at the level of the deal in many situations they may have far reaching consequences and therefore one has to be cautious and careful. Uh, in KM hospital students, undergraduate students and their festival is a very important because these are all young minds. And on the first day when I welcomed, my uh, biochemistry colleague asked me, Sir, uh, have you to prepare a slides for the first day of the student's batch? And then I said, as a professor of medicine, uh, on such occasions I do not require slides. Because all that comes out is out of spontaneity. And that is what the students and their parents were very happy about. I welcomed them and I wished them the nice four and a half years plus one year of internship. I did pronounce at that time, I would like many of you to be the postgraduates of this institution. I said some of you would become super specialists from this institution. And my final dream, some of you might be able to join the faculty of this prestigious institution. And in that we had an example of Dr. G.B. Parulkar, XD, who started as a postgraduate, as an undergraduate student and ended with director. So what we call a soldier to general, tutor to director. These are some of the designations in the academic career which matter most and they liked it very much. Because whosoever enters the KM campus normally would like to become a full-fledged professional. And being a faculty is a matter of enormous pride. The place where you are studying as an undergraduate and postgraduate, you are engaged in the precious job of teaching creating and nurturing the next generation, it should be a matter of immense pride. There may be few of them, but the rest of them who could not join, I am very clear that KM Hospital has its students, alumni in entire world. I am told that in USA, Canada, New Zealand, wherever there are uh, medical establishment of stature, KM alumni are occupying important and responsible posts which is a matter of immense pride. So this is uh, what I realized about the KM Hospital. In between again, in uh, KM Hospital, the different developments, getting recognition for the neonatology department. There was one doctor with an anomaly. And then she pursued the matter so vigorously. Eventually we got the uh, recognition for the DM neonatology. So pursuing academic matters to the level of Medical Council of India and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, promoting research at the level of the Indian Council of Medical Research, doing activities wherein we started a center under the auspices of the Maratha Institute of Health Sciences. These are all very important developments. So, academic development, curriculum advancement, ensuring that everything new that is happening, the GS Medical College and KM Hospital as a matter of pride. At that time, I had given the target we have got a medical education uh, cell and the cell can get converted into a unit. Unit can get converted into a division 
and with growing strength it can become a medical education department. So for every activity within the compound, I try to motivate the respective professors, respective departments, what is their line of progress, what should be their progressive thinking and when does that lead to within what time is left to the efforts put in and maybe sometimes sanctions and all. This uh, program of the US Academy name is there. Is it another association of US? No, no. Uh, US program. Yes. That also at that time was coming up for the initial stages that was uh, encouraged at that point in time. Some of our faculty members were deputed to US and they completed the course, initiated the sale over here, initiated the program. HIV activity of KM was very important and good number was done. Our microbiology laboratory was going strong, surgical department went strong. And above all, our basic strength, basic sciences, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, microbiology, including mycology and virology labs, they were all important constituents. Blood bank, including our sixth floor uh, establishment Plasma. and our 13th floor establishment, our collaboration with Indian Institute of Hematology at that point in time in ICMR was greatly appreciated and recognized. In short, that period which I spent as the dean and within three months of my deanship, uh, our Earth Royal Director uh, had resigned and I was fortunate to occupy the post of director at uh, St. Yes Medical College in KM Hospital. I did a small thing, earlier it was designated as Director of Medical Education and Public Health. Then it was also designated Director of Medical Education and Major Hospitals. But I realized that within the entire corporation, research is also conducted on a large term basis and therefore research should be guided for all the institutions from KM Hospital. And I requested the then Municipal Commissioner the right designation Invincible Corporation towards research also should be there and let the director be designated as Director Medical Education and Research for which the approval was received and maybe in that way I was the first director designated in that particular manner. So I always felt in research that GS Medical College has led and the top post also should be so designated along the lines of the government of Maharashtra and some state governments. And uh, finally, with uh, many activities keeping us engrossed and busy, I realized that our day started at 8, 8.39. It ended at 8.45 at night. But our mobile is always ringing. And one day my deputy dean pointed out, you must be speaking on the mobile also for a period of two hours a day. But I enjoy every minute of being the head of this institution, prestigious institution. And I could see a couple of alumni programs, 65 batch coming to India and uh, having some good time. Then all our activities of alumni association. Our journal is also very important. And came hospital PG journal. Uh, at one point in time I did instruct them that let it contain at least 50% of the articles which is dependent on the work generated at KM Hospital. Because basic issue and basic purpose of the journal is to give a platform to the work conducted in KM Hospital. At one point in time it was considered as a prestige that many international contributors are there in postgraduate journal of medicine. But at the same time it should act as a vehicle for publication of activities on the compound. So this was a rough rule, a rough sort of instruction given my me to the actual board, let the journal contain at least 50% articles from this institution. I myself contributed to the journal on a couple of occasions because I do not want and believe in being the chairman of the publication without actually contributing to it. So a couple of uh, reviews I have contributed to the journal and during the post of deanship and director also when I looked at my graph, I realized that every year should be a moving year. Currently, I realize that I have crossed 100 on the Google Scholar publication. So this is something which is an ongoing process. After I left KM, I really felt that I should be out looking into the other parts of India. And the first post I was director at the Maratha Institute of Health Sciences. 
which I did for almost four to six months. But within that, I was selected by the government of India for the post of director at NICRIMS. This comes under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. It was equivalent to secretary post. And I could see and do the building of that institution. Again, at all levels, a huge campus of over 200 acres. And I could get into the functioning of the government of India. Because so far, I had looked into the state government. I had looked into the municipal corporation of Greater Mumbai. I had looked into the Maharashtra Institute of Health Sciences. And I realized the functioning of the union government. I had an occasion to be an expert committee member at the planning commission to give inputs for development of tertiary hospitals for the year 2012 to 2017. And again I participated as a coordinator in telemedicine and such other programs meant for the Northeast under the Ministry of Health and Family Health. After that I realized that with my son completing his post graduation as a ENT surgeon, it was time for me to return back to my city Mumbai and I felt that the only place is a medical college having spent already 35 years that medical college would be the right place to share my experiences with the coming generation because I believe in stimulating the gen next towards right goals and whatever the outcome the efforts have to continue. I always believe that a good teacher has to be an eternal optimist and teaching is something which is very fulfilling and that should be made fulfilling by the heads of institution in terms of the respective faculty. There can be many issues, pay scales, practice, promotions, they are invariably there, but they should not distract a good teacher from pursuing his duties diligently. But you cannot allow some problem to remain in your mind all through and affect your work. That affects your very being and that can affect the quality of teaching. So innovations in teaching are extremely important. So currently, with the, all this in mind, I am the professor of internal medicine at the KJ Somio Hospital Mumbai and I find it a contented job with some of some or most of the family responsibilities over the daughter married with the son married and both of them having uh, children. I think I am leading a fulfilled life but at the same time I am actively engaged in ensuring that whatever is my commitment towards medical education, towards medical research and in a very broad way towards public health that is very important. A couple of my likings I must need to share and a couple of my liking is that the modern medicine sometimes has looked at the other systems of medicine in a very odd way and we have to respect other disciplines of medicine, other systems of medicine and we are not the know-alls of the entire history of medical and human health. And therefore, even in KM Hospital, the idol of Lord Dhanvantari, very much there, every year the puja is being performed. So whatever the good the Ayurveda also has to do, is should be understood, appreciated and should not be dismissed with contempt. Same thing may apply to yoga and such other practices which are currently encouraged by the prevailing government and it is something very good to happen that at young level, at the young age, the students are exposed to yoga and if they practice yoga, it contributes enormously to preventive in terms of NCD, non-communicable disease, hypertension, diabetes of which are very common and it also helps ensuring that the disease remains under fair control. So this is my plus point that at Sion Hospital also I encourage an integrated medicine opinion. And when an Ayurveda person came, he gave his treatment. In the Government of India job, I had a simultaneous Ayurveda Institute uh, being granted 20 acres in our total campus of 200 acres. And I always felt that it should be a two-way bridge in so many degenerative conditions, so many advanced cancer conditions. If a patient feels that he should avail of other modalities of therapy, he should be feel free to do so. And therefore, at there, geographically, I told there should be open passage between the two institutions. So I believe that other systems of medicine, some of have been time tested, some of the rishis are actually living examples of all that yoga can do to the physical body, mind and the spirit. And therefore, modern medicine, of course, is based on evidence. 
it may have its own theory discoveries but it does not mean that that is the only system prevalent in this and particularly india is the origin land of ayurveda every science be it allopathic medicine ayurvedic medicine should be practiced scientifically late of my concern has been that a lot of commercialization has happened in the practice of medicine and recently we read reports about several ill happenings in the medical profession number 1 including assaults on medical people and number 2 some odd practices being there in the society for which some regulations are being sought but all said and done good products of good institutions will always have a character they will ensure that their integrity is not compromised they will look out for their own progress but they should also look out for the all around progress of the society in which they live in they should be knowledgeable with what is happening within the society and how so intelligent you are you cannot remain in an ivory towers distant from the society so social societal problems are our own problems and we have to learn to evolve ourselves instead of sitting as a super specialist which of course you are but being in touch with the society is extremely important as far as the medical practitioner or consultant is concerned so these are a few thoughts i thought i must share on this occasion my view on the scenario of medical education my view on the scenario of public health and lastly the well being of the medical profession and the right attitudes one should develop in his progress towards life. i think i will conclude with that thank you so i remember that you gave a concept of organizing all of our randomly organized operations yeah yeah and you are converted into yeah, a yeah, yeah. which is not going on okay 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 during my tenure of the deanship at the km hospital one or two things struck me and i attempted to do something in that direction one day a group of our students they said we want our internship our internship is getting completed into inverted commas local convocation and within no time the students of physiotherapy also came so we are also doing our function so the thought came to my mind within the same compound why there should be two so i asked uh, the medical do you have any help? so they said some difficulty is the auditorium will be small etc so i said uh, let us do it at the tennis ground and at that time we were successful in organizing a common function for the medical graduates physiotherapy occupation all taken together who survived and graduated and particularly on the verge of leaving the compound so this was a common first program At, at that time, I had also cracked a joke that uh, in a hospital in London, one uh, doctor asked the physiotherapist, "Where are you from?" "I am an Indian." "You are also Indian." "Where did you graduate from?" "I graduated from Saint James Medical College in Kent Hospital." "What about you?" "I have also graduated from the same college." "How come we do not know each other?" And therefore, I said, "If two people in UK or USA belonging to the same institution are working without knowing each other," that is no good and therefore at least at the parting program they should know each other well so that when they go abroad they represent st gs medical college in kem hospital and mumbai and india and continue the relationship instead of working as professionals who do not know each other and the second was a, a little sort of i attended two three oration montero oration and such other oration and i found the family members of the respective had joined in but the crowd somehow because came hospital is a busy hospital and sometimes the timing arranged in the morning may not be suitable but i really did feel that a single oration attracts only 30 or 40 people sometimes it might be sort of uh, displeasing to the family members who attend and therefore i suggested to idea at that time dr nimari ki madam i think you are there that let all the oration be combined on a given day so that the crowd is sizable and at the end of the we can have some uh, heavy snacks or lunch but people will be interested if there are many orations pertaining to different subjects because one or two clinical one or two laboratory related one or two radiology related and one or two of basic sciences so we did that on that day and five orations were there started at around 9 9:30 and ended at 1 o'clock at that time i remember dr gb parulkar confirmed with others that this is the first such occasion 
and then he complimented me saying that yes yes in the history of KM hospital this is the first I only prayed requested and appealed to everybody let this practice continue so that all orations are combined on a given day they attract a respectable crowd and in the process they impart whatever is intended to a large crowd without displeasing the people who have donated towards the oration. So this was one into inverted commas semi novel idea which I thought towards improvement. So one was the combination of OTPT together because before they leave the compound they must know each other well. And this was also an occasion where many parents, otherwise the dean is confined to his office and hospital, but many parents on that day requested for a photograph and I did oblige them because their ward was leaving the hospital, giving the premises on that day. So many parents also obliged. It was a touching thing for them that uh, at least at the end of four and a half years they are posing uh, with the dean on the completion of that. So these are the two things. That tradition is continued. That is called Oreco. I am extremely happy that that particular innovation which I suggested, proposed, is being continued and it is now termed as Orecon. I wish Orecon all the best in the coming years and including that I would like to attend to the extent possible, one every year. Thank you. Sir, I, I, I remember one thing. As you are done in academics innovations, I remember uh, you know, our uh, workers coming in telling you for Ganesha you come for puja, yeah, yeah. you are always suited with it. But yeah. that day I remember you coming in a dhoti with your wife yeah, sitting yeah. for the puja because yeah. they, they told you to come. That is right. That, uh, is, that is also social and cultural festivals also a part of our life. And it is no wonder that the GS Medical College and KM Hospital celebrate two important occasions. One is Dasera and on the second floor where their office is located, it is so lighted during the day that Dasera marks a very important occasion in the lives of us all. I recollect at that time, there was one student from UK, came hospital, you know, invites and gets students from all over the world. It includes UK, USA, Russia. On that occasion, there was a UK intern, student, and I just asked him casually, do you want to know what is Dasera? He did ask me. I said, come, come along with me. Let us share that. I went to the second floor. Our staff were extremely happy and it was a very occasion full of merriment and the important celebration of Dasera. When I entered in, I took my shoes out and the same thing was done by the intern. And thereafter, I took the darshan. He also took the darshan. They asked me to be on a seated on a chair and they offered me the prasad and I sat there for almost 10 to 15 minutes and when I completed the function I had coming back to my office that intern from the United Kingdom he told me it is something wonderful it is very good to become a dean in such an institution where the entire staff uh, knows you so I did tell him that amongst this staff I am being a professor of medicine there might be many whose mother, whose wife, whose husband, whose father, whose son I might have treated in my earlier innings and this is an occasion for them not only to call a person who is occupying a seat but also offering gratitude for all that the clinician has done to them in the past year as tenure as a clinician. So he was extremely happy, he understood it is not just the post but it is the emotions being expressed and gratitude being expressed in some way or the other because in KM we took duty curing patient, treating patient is a part of inherent duty we do not look for whether gratitude is being expressed in any form but the gratitude remains in mind and these are the occasions where gratitude is shared in such a big way the second thing is the famous Ganesh Utsav of this uh, institution and they asked me sir why you are the chairman of this person of this event whenever you are being a dean and then I asked the details and they said we would very much like you to be a part of the celebration. I told them I will come on the first day. They said no, as per the tradition you can come with your spouse and perform the puja in the conventional manner that is expected. And now usually we know we are 
in an official attire somewhere somewhere Sulekra and all. But on that day I made it a point that this being an Indian festival, if the dress the attire should be right for the occasion. And I requested my spouse and she was too happy because she had an identical experience at the Ostwile Hospital for the Satyanarayan Puja. But uh, here it was Ganesh Puja and when they saw me they were extremely astonished all the staff and they were happy. The happiness could be seen. It need not be spelled out. And I did it the way it has to be done. And thereafter I made it a point that for the second year also uh, I wanted to be a part of the Ganesh Utsu celebration not just for the sake of it but as an active participant as any staff member of the KM hospital would do. So these are some joyous moments to see that and I always accompanied the Ganesha truck up to the gate of the hospital, be it the KM hospital, be it the Sion hospital. And there was one message from my side that the last person should inform me at 11 pm or 12 that all have returned safe to the hospital company because the truck was accompanied by so many staff including their children and mishap can happen at the sea and the immersion point. So I made it a point that we do not want any tragedy of that type in the midst of enthusiasm. Thank you very much. So it's good that you remember me. It was very good sir. Very fluent. And let us, let me tell you that each dean has come out with a different perspective which is very nice. So you have really touched upon how you are viewing your, uh, what should I say, yourself doing a particular work at position. Very nice, very nice. Only Madam Malik, I must be fast, but I didn't <laughs> See, as professors, we have to complete in 45 minutes. <laughs> and we have no, no, not that way. But when we talk, there is a, so much material no, about a disease. So much material about a disease, starting from historical signs and symptoms, investigations, treatment, complications and prevention. So if all these are to be combined within 45 minutes, we have to speak fast. So once that habit is developed, I am completing 41 years now in the teaching profession. So these are all habits ingrained. <laughs> it's a recording player.